one foot of standing water is enough to make most cars float. Two feet of rushing water can carry away pretty much any car, including an SUV or a pickup truck. Dr. Daria here, board certified ER doctor. And yeah, we have to work through storms and hurricanes. With all this rain and flooding, there will be a lot of standing water. There already is. Do not drive through it. You don't know how deep it is and it can very quickly make you lose control of your car or even be carried away if the water is rushing. If something happens and you do find your car in deep water where it's actually starting to sink and it's very deep that it could submerge the car, then you do want to get out of the car. Don't wait, don't wait for the water to come in and a cooler or anything like that. Open your window immediately under your seatbelt, get out of the car. If you have kids in the backseat who can't get out themselves, then don't open your window because the front of the car sinks first. Your window will have more water flooding into it. Crawl into the back, open the second row window, undo your kids, get them out, get out yourself. That'll really be dangerous because probably rushing water. I hope you don't have to do that. But so bottom line, if you see standing water, just don't drive through it. It is not worth that risk. I hope nobody needs this tip, but if you do, then I will be glad that you saw it. And I hope everybody stays safe with this hurricane right now.